All right, what's up, guys? Um, here to just give you a little bit of an update and uh, some insight on this clamp right here. Remember, you guys, I had the Russia clamp, and I also bought this one, and I was using this one in in the place of the Russia clamp. You know, you guys seen already. Now, I'm making this video because I want to show you what happens when you use this. Uh, because my scooter felt loose and I thought it was because you know this loosened up and I went to turn the bolts and they were like kind of loose so I was like okay I just need to tighten it up when I get home or whatever um, so but I also had a theory that this was loose and this is you know you know this is the castle nut as you guys know this holds everything on and blah, 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 whatever. So, come to find out, this castle nut is loose, okay? Now, because this piece, I'm, so now, I'm going to, this is what I thought could always happen with this thing because it touches this thing. You see what I mean? It connects onto this as well. So when all the vibration is happening, this is getting moved a lot so it could loosen it up really fast and that's exactly what happened. This is completely loose right now and needs to be tightened and I didn't bring the tool so I'm gonna have to do it when I get home. But um, yeah, just to give you guys a heads up. Now, if you like this clamp and you have it, I guess you could keep using it but I guess just keep checking it out and making sure that it's tightened and then you're gonna have to tighten the um, the castle nuts every so often um, and maybe if you don't ride as much as me it won't loosen as fast but it is in fact completely loose okay so I'm gonna go back to you know I still have my Russia clamps and I'm gonna go back to my Russia clamp and the good thing about the Russia clamp is that it does not touch this I mean this is cool because it grabs everything so it can kind of give like a strong hold but with the vibration and everything you see look when it's like this you know, it's gonna, you know, it's not gonna sound like that, but you know, the vibration and movement from the bumps could potentially loosen this up. Uh, with the uh, Russia clamp, it's only going on this right here. It's not touching this right here. So there's nothing pulling and yanking on that because you got the front side and the back side. And when I move my, you know, stem back and forth, it's rocking and pulling this too. So and let me show you how loose it is just so you guys know. So uh, I can uh, I can't really show you because I have no way of holding the camera, but I can move it with my hands. I'm trying my best to. Let me see here. All right, Let's see if I can do this. Really see that? Look, it's completely loose. Both of them. Look at that. So, yeah, guys, know that this thing can loosen up, all right? And if it loosens up, you gotta tighten it right away. So look, you see that? You guys know how strong this is on. You can't move this. So I'm gonna tighten it up. I'm gonna get it home, put the Russia clamp on. I gotta put some new Loctite on it and everything. So that's pretty much it. You guys know I'm here to give you the info. I'm here to help you out. You know, that's what it's about, you know, real shit. So now you guys know about this. Uh, so I'm going to tighten it up and I'm going to use my Russia clamp. So if you like this clamp, uh, you know, this one right here, you can use it, but just know it could potentially loosen it. So, all right, guys, while I'm at it, I figured I'd show you guys a full comparison here. So uh, this is the one I just showed you. Just took it off. I put it back together. Uh... Like I said, this outer ring right here will um, attach onto the castle nut. So now you guys can get a better visual of it. So when it's sitting on the castle nut, you know, and you have to move your stem back and forth and you're going over bumps, bloop, 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 you know, all this vibration could loosen it more over time. All bolts could loosen, you know what I mean? Even with Loctite, uh, but you know, obviously this could loosen it more because it's, it's hugging the castle nut. So, yeah, and then here is the Russia clamp. Also, uh, we all know what's going on with Russia and 
you know, you can't order anything from Russia right now, which kind of sucks because, you know, the guy that I did the video on that sells Dualtron parts that he makes himself, custom Dualtron parts, he has some really good stuff, man, and you can't get it from him right now because of Russia. So uh, all of the shipments have been blocked and all that. So luckily I have two of them. You know, I got one for my Limited and one for my Storm. So I love this thing. This thing's great. So, uh, but as I said, you know, it's the same kind of concept, except it goes on and the Castle Nut does not get surrounded. So it's only where the stem folds that it's holding. So the Castle Nut will not be, you know, grabbed onto it so yeah that's both of them um in the glory now i'm pretty sure on aliexpress you could probably find like you know a, a chinese version that they made every time china sees something they'll just make a replica of it they always do that so um i got this a long time ago when this came out i was the only person that made a video talking about it nobody talks about it typically what i do in my videos but i'm pretty sure at this point now they do have this available on AliExpress if you look. It'll just be a different version. Maybe 6.6 Six made one, the same people who made this. So yeah, just to show you guys, um, yeah. So I'm gonna be riding home very slowly and then I'm gonna get home, take off my castle nuts, put some new Loctite on it, um, and then you know put this on. So yeah, that's it for now guys. I'll see you in the next video.